RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Get that, will you, Cecil Bill? Cecil Bill. <laughs> no. no, no. He always talks like that. Did you get the call? Oh, good. My father. <laughs> They're rooting it now. Here we go. Ooh, got into Schenectady very easily that time. Here we go. Oh, we're going to Burlington. Yeah, there we go. No, don't go into New Hampshire. You don't have to. I'm sorry, operator. Well, I know, but I... All right. Ring four. <laughs> Hello? Brimstone Club? Hello? Hello, Brimstone Club? I know, operator. I put this into person. All right. She's going to get the party. <laughs> Hello, Father. Hello, Dad. How are you? This is Ollie. Ollie. Your son. Ollie. No, I'm not in town. I'm in Chicago. No, I'm in Chicago. I'm calling long distance. What's all that noise going on in the background? Oh. Yeah, well, they're fun, I know. Yeah, well, how's everything? You having a good time? Uh-huh. So you're having a good time. You won how much? You did. Well, well, Dad, I just want to tell you that Mom's on her way. She's on her way home. Well, after all of that, she's been here six weeks. <laughs> well, sure, she's having a good time, but... Yeah, but you know, the season of Dragon Feet is starting, and you'll have to get... Well, I don't care. She's coming home, Father. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's taking the 6.30. Well, I don't know. It's the 6.30, that's all. Well, I don't know whether it's Eastern or Standard or Daylight Savings or Eastern or Western or what it is, but it's the 6.30. It's the regular one that comes in there. Well, you can meet her. Well, get up early. Yeah, did you have a nice day? <laughs> that's good. Yeah. How's the house? Yeah, I'll bet. Well, get the dishes done. She'll be home in a couple of days. Tomorrow, I guess. Okay, Pop, see you this summer. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a bill now. We should get all the luggage for Mother. Fran, dear. Yeah. Uh, Mother's about to leave. Oh, is she? Now it seems as though she just got here. Yeah, well, she's got to get back. Well, of course she does. I don't does. think Dad was too happy. He says that the connection wasn't so good. Oh? He's down at the Brimstone Club. I see. Well, he'll meet her, won't he? They're having a poker game down there. Oh? Yeah, he's going to meet her, all right. Well, sure he will. Yeah, well... Can you help with the luggage, Cecil Bill? I'm going to get the car. All right. So Could I do anything for I'll her, Ollie? Just Ali? get her going fast. All right, I will. Uh, it's so hard. She doesn't realize that... Here in Chicago, it takes a little longer time to get well, to the station. Well, she's used to moving very slowly. Well, you know, down at Dragon Retreat, it's different. I know. So, uh, you get the luggage. Toot, toot, toot. Toot, 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 Oh, have a suitcase. You about ready, Mrs. Dragon? Hmm? I say, are you about ready? Oh, yes, Francis. Oh, Francis, I tell you, I do so hate to leave, and well, I can't tell me. you how much. Who's bag? Well, that's your bag. Oh, how nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it doesn't... Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, thank you. Riz, put it right in back of the carriage. The carriage. 
I was supposed to take you in the station a wagon. station Mr. wagon, mm. of course. But you know, everything's a carriage to me. Yes, I know. I just, I just can't think of... I can't tell you how many carriages I've ridden. No, I suppose not. My time. Mm -hmm. Carriage after... Well, Francis, I want to tell you what a good time I've had. Well, how been How sweet one... you've been oh, to me. You, no. you and Kukler and all the little group and Mr. Pachinato. I just think <laughs> your, your music is simply divine. Thank you, Mrs. Grant. And oh, I'll we've, miss you. We've loved having you well, here. Well, I'll... I'll just miss seeing your bright, shiny faces come down to breakfast in the morning. I just will, and I do hope you will get out. But you know I must leave. Well, of course, I, I know must you have left. Of course, you. leave taking is always so sad. Yes, it is. I can't begin. Well, we'll to... see you very soon, though. Well, you're coming up to Dragon Retreat for the oh, summer, I hope. Well, oh, Kukler, you dear little clown. Yes, I know you're a little clown because I saw your that publicity in the paper. My. It's so nice of you. I tell you, the way you help out of my son's show is so wonderful. You're just... Well, I tell you, Kukler, I just can't express my gratitude. Why, well, we're, we're... I just said we were so happy to have Mrs. Dragon with us. Yes, and we just hate to have you go. I should say. Seems a shame. Why don't you wait and, and go with us, Mrs. Dragon? Oh, no, I've got to get back there and open things up, and you never know what kind of mischief... Ollie's father's gotten into. Mm. You know he let the garden just go to weed when mm. I'm gone. I see. Oh, but leaves taking are so sad. What time I did you train tell you the Mr. times Dragon? I've left. I'll tell you, uh, there are the the times I've left places, and hmm? uh, nothing, Dragon. What time did you train me? Oh, I think it's six thirty. Uh, I believe that is. What I time? Wonder if well, I don't know what time are we you? on here. Well, we're on a... They like day. Day. Oh, Mrs. Seven. Dragon, I did want you to... Mrs. Dragon, we have a present for you, a going away present. Oh, Cooper, that was thoughtful of Why, you. Why, what a divine thing. What's a little radio? Why, it's an RCA Victor radio. Certainly. You see, I know my commercial. Certainly you do. Why, isn't that... What kind is it? RCA Victor. Well, I know that, but I mean... Why, it's such a very teensy weensy one. It's almost, well, it's not much bigger than a book. Really, not much bigger than a book. And it's just as easy to carry. Too. Oh, yes. It, well, it's a super personal radio, uh, Mrs. Dragon and Olivia. And you get features in, in this uh, uh, radio that, that you've never been able to get before in a radio this size. Or, for instance, the revolutionary RCA balanced light batteries. Oh, my. I don't understand radio very much, but I do know tone. And volume. Well, you get you get really wonderful volume and tone from this radio. Room-sized volume, and you have an automatic volume control which eliminates alternate fading and blasting. You understand that? Oh yes, yes. They were doing some blasting over in the marble quarry. Just <laughs> this is a little different kind of thing, Mrs. Dragon. This is this is different, Mrs. Dragon. This is blasting. You know where sometimes the volume will come up with a great shout. Fade down. And they down. Well, this this is eliminated entirely with the automatic volume control in this RCA. It's a constant. Oh, of course. Well, I understand that, but I don't understand those uh, those terms. I don't. Oh, believe. well, you just love the little radio. We know that, don't we, Cooper? Why, you bet. You know, and uh, you can play this little uh, portable ten times longer than any previous model without changing a battery, because there's an amazing battery lifesaver switch that can increase battery life hours more. Well, I don't understand, but that sounds like a great, wonderful thing to me. Well, it is. Absolutely wonderful, because to think of having a portable... Well, and playing it ten times longer than any previous model. Well, you're a dear, sweet boy, Kukler. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. And Ollie's father will appreciate it, too. Hey, aren't you coming, Mother? Yeah, better put it with your things, dear. Oh, my Well, Mrs. Dear. Dragon, come and see us again. Mother, hurry up. The train's going to be leaving. I'll come all in good time. All in good time, dear boy. Traffic gets pretty heavy about this time of evening. My dear girl, I would love just once before I leave to hear you and Kukler in that lovely song that you sang for me one day. Well, then. A delightful little song in duet, you know. If you think... Better hurry, Mrs. Mr. Oh, I want to hear you sing again. This is the song that Mrs. Dragon liked so much, you know, the one she wanted to learn. Oh, yes, Jack. Mm. Yes, we do. <laughs> You're the sunrise, the sunset, the meadows and the sea. Darling, you are all the world to me. You're the raindrops, the rainbow, the blossoms on the tree. Darling, you. 
we'll see you real soon, Mrs. Dragon. I just hate it, Peggy. Well, we... I can't tell you. Hate to say goodbye to you, too. Oh, in the present you gave. Present? I forgot. Oh, get my trunks out of the car. Oh, um, Mrs. Dragon, I don't think you'll have time. But I brought your gloves back, the ones that you left at Dragon oh, Retreat last year. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Dragon. Just... Just don't bother to unpack but, because oh, I can... there are some little cookies I've... Oh, gracious, I forgot to unpack those cookies. Oh, oh that's... But, but, Mrs. Dragon, I don't think you'll have time now. Mother, are you coming? I should be right there, Ollie. Oh, you dear. Ollie gets impatient. He doesn't... He doesn't want you to get nervous on the way to the train. Thank Goodbye, you very Francis. much. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kukla. Goodbye, Mrs. Dragon. We'll see you at Dragon Retreat. <gasps> I know. I know I will. Won't be very long. Thank you again. Will you come back soon? I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mother! I'm coming, Sonny. Kuka, I just tried to think. I don't think I've seen her with her hat off since she's been here. She's been here six weeks. I suppose she went to sleep with it, too? I, know, I just don't know. But she wore it in the kitchen all the time. <laughs> wore it at dinner. Oh, Franny. I'll miss, I'll miss that Olivia. Well, I will, too. She's just as sweet and kind and good as she can be. We'll see her again, and she has that wonderful RCA Victor Portable Radio. Well, remember, for the best in portable radios, it's RCA Victor. Here's wonderful news for record fans. Three exciting new RCA Victor Red Seal recordings of the music you want, performed by the world's greatest artists. First, the Cavalcade of Musical Comedy album. Eight all-time hits from Broadway and Hollywood scores, sung by Metropolitan Opera stars Rizé Stevens and Robert Merrill. Next, a delightful concert by America's favorite light music orchestra, the Boston Pops. In this Boston Pops program, Arthur Fiedler conducts music by Rimsky-Korsakoff, Tchaikovsky, and Mendelssohn. And this month, too, brings you an unrivaled performance by the brilliant pianist Vladimir Horowitz. His matchless interpretation of Chopin's famous funeral march Sonata in B-flat. In addition to 45, all three of these superb RCA Victor Red Seal performances come in RCA Victor's brand new and improved long play albums. You'll find these handy long play albums so much easier to handle. Music titles are printed right on the backbone, and they're reinforced for that all-important extra record protection. Plan to hear these exciting new performances by the world's greatest artists now at your nearest RCA Victor dealer's store. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. And Olivia, take your hat off and stay a while. The train's 6.30 tomorrow morning. The musical... RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago.